Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and today we're going to do a what sold uh, over the last few weeks in my eBay store. Um, I really didn't expect the end of March to do very well. Um, March started out good uh, for me but um, it actually ended much better than I expected. I did run a promotion uh, in my store of 25% off for the last week of March. I think that generated a few sales. Um, so that was good. Um, my total gross sales ended up being better than February by like $20. Um, but my profit was just a little less than February. So I was actually quite happy with the way March ended. So why don't we just get right into it? Okay, everybody, here we're going to uh, do a what has sold video for part of the month of March. So actually, March sales were really good. I was quite surprised. Um, it ended well in the month of March. Um, and so one of the items I sold towards the end of March, one of my last sales was this pair of gold cufflinks. Um, they were marked 18 karat gold. I picked them up at an estate sale, accidentally um, didn't realize they were gold when I got them because um, the mark was just a, like a dot on the side of them. And I'll see if I can, yeah, I can show you there. But it was really hard to read um, at the estate sale, so I just thought they were silver plate, didn't pay a lot of attention, honestly. Picked up a, some other pieces of men's jewelry at the same time. And uh, so anyway, so I actually only paid like a dollar or something for these because the lot of jewelry, she just gave us a bunch. She asked if there was any sterling silver in there. And I said, not that we know of, because um, actually these were in the back bathroom. It was really kind of dark in there. And I was just sorting through the drawers and found a bunch of men's jewelry. So anyway, um, but sold these. I took best offer of 55 on these. Um, and then... We've got a little delay here. Sorry about that. Another item I sold, this one I picked up at the Goodwill Bins. It's one of these metal agate gemstone handbag purses. It was velvet lined. My wife really liked it. But um, sold that for asking price of $14.99. I was running a 25% off special at the end of March for the last week. Um, so this was one of those that was on that sale. Um, which did help generate some sales, I think. So my sales overall, I was $20 higher than February, um, but my profit was down just a little bit. Part of that was the sale. Um, this Sweden Angel Chimes I picked up at the bins as well. It's in one of my haul videos. Um, it is missing one part. The piece all works together, but the box describes it as having a heavy glass base. There was no glass base, so I have no idea what that was. But uh, I sold it as is, and the box was pretty trashed. But uh, well, it's all, so it was good. I picked up this at the bins also. At the same time, I picked up the Angel Chimes. And this is a vintage Foley yellow bottle cap opener. I just picked it up because, I oh, it'd be nice to have a bottle opener at home, not realizing that Foley is a pretty collectible brand of can openers and there was one when i got home and looked it up there's one that sold for 16 dollars in the yellow i was like oh okay so i listed it separately it happened to go to the same person who bought the angel chimes so i shipped these together um so that's a good sale because it cost hardly anything another item i picked up at the bins was this chrome wheel well molding um Kind of a vintage thing. I think it was from the 90s. Um, and I sold it once. People didn't pay. So it got relisted and uh, sold this time again with my 25% off sale. Uh, the lot of three vintage tablecloths. I showed these in a haul video as well. And uh, two kitchen towels. So there were five pieces all together in this haul. Um, sold almost immediately upon listing it. So then I'm like, ah, I probably listed it for, I could have listed it for more and sold it for more. But again, I'm I'm all about quick turnaround. And this one was, so that's good. Um, this is a George's Briard plate. I have actually had good luck selling these. I've picked up a number of them over the last few months. 
and I've sold every single one of them that I've picked up so they're quite collectible this one was the one that took the longest to sell uh, I had picked it up in the state sale for a dollar um, sold it for 11 and uh, so yeah so it was a bigger one so it was a little harder to package and ship but I was just glad it it left um, these are a couple of candlesticks Italian candlesticks that are signed and numbered on the bottom um, both of them are from like the late 70s I think bo both of them are 1977 the same artist um, two different numbers yeah and so um, picked these up at a local thrift store um, and it was on their half price day so I think I paid like a dollar dollar and a quarter each on these so had these for quite a while took a while for them to sell but they finally did um, this was in my wife's jewelry bin she sorted through it a while back and gave this to me it's a sterling silver tennis bracelet um and uh mark 925 and this sold uh, the same day i listed it um so that's good there are quite a few of them out there that's why i sold it for 12. um but it went quickly this um royal hager cocker spaniel and puppy said i picked up at the goodwill store oh about a month ago and um, the mother dog is quite large and then there's the little puppy so cute there's actually three different puppies that go with this there's another one that was there but he was badly broken and this small puppy had several chips along the edges which i disclosed in the ad um and the mother dog did have the remnants of the royal hager label on her um this is an empire sterling silver urn shaped dish it's very small it was only like three inches tall um had this for quite a long time i picked it up for two dollars at the goodwill local goodwill it was heavily tarnished so i did polish it turned out looking very nice uh, when it was done being polished so sold that for 18.99 plus shipping all my items are plus shipping so um rarely do i include shipping on an item this i picked up at the bins the ralph lauren golf wedgwood england salad plate smaller plate it's more of a decorator plate um it wasn't in perfect condition it did have a small chip and a scratch on the image uh, still sold for 15 dollars plus shipping so that was a good deal um this little adorable elephant came from an estate sale where i picked up a whole bunch of elephants um and so i've had this one for quite a while since the beginning of december which is quite a while for me um but it's old so i was happy about that um this vintage frame we actually got from cindy's dad it had some relatives picture in it and had it for years um and we decided to kind of clean up stuff so i decided to throw this on ebay sold within a couple days of listing it for 15 dollars uh it's one of the swivel frames so nice little sale um this was a set of um cruel and needlepoint kit that i found at the bins there was i believe six all total in this of different styles and uh, sold it all as a lot some were open package and they were missing the needles um they were all from the 80s and so we sold those for $27 plus shipping. Um, I found a whole set of these Royal Albert Beatrix Potter figures at the Goodwill one time when I went in there. There was just a box sitting on the shelf. It wasn't, it was just marked $5.99 on the outside of it. Um, and so I grabbed it and opened it up and there was still stuff wrapped in uh, tissue paper. I was like, what in the world is this? So when I pulled them out it was um, all these little figurines there were seven of them in the box so I quickly grabbed them and um, brought them home and have sold them individually and I've uh, sold four out of the seven so I only have three left but the first one I sold was for forty dollars and uh, this one sold for seventeen and yeah I've more than made my money back on these and I still have three left so it was a good find 
and the last item that I'm showing is this Fenton bowl I showed this in one of my haul videos not long ago that I found at the bins this was the crazy day at the bins um and again this one sold very quickly it's um was a hand-painted Fenton piece by Ann Sally and uh so yeah another great find um so yeah that was a haul those are that's what sold for me in the last few weeks and I was excited to uh have the sales so hope you guys enjoyed we'll talk to you later bye